Apple not only weighed on the Dow, but also the broader market. The Nasdaq, as we mentioned, got hit the hardest. Here are the closing numbers. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 84 points to 25,679. The Nasdaq was down 113. The S&P 500 was off 19. But despite today's pullback, it is good to remember that the market isn't all that far off of its all-time high. Mike Santoli has more. The market owes its resilience to a rush toward safer stocks and bonds as investors migrate away from risk. The S&P 500 index has managed to hold within about 3% of its recent record high, thanks in part to Treasury yields falling to 2019 lows, which has much to do with worry over global growth and an expectation that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates later this year to support a vulnerable economy. Shares of stocks that act somewhat like bonds have been clear leaders. Utilities and steady consumer staple stocks have vastly outperformed industrial and small cap stocks, groups more reliant on a better economy. This has led some strategists to argue that the broad stock indexes are sending a less upbeat message than would otherwise be the case for a market up some 14 percent less than five months into the year. Investor sentiment similarly seems more subdued than usual after such a strong market recovery from the December lows. Surveys of retail and professional investors show a sharp drop in optimism in recent weeks, and cash has continued to flow out of stock funds at a pretty heavy pace, a sign of further investor caution. Low bond yields and cautious investors already braced for bad news could continue to help support stocks as the market absorbs details of the trade standoff, but that would probably require the economic data to hold up well enough to counter recession fears. But if the economy doesn't falter enough for the Fed to cut rates as the bond market seems to want, can those same safe stocks keep holding up the market? And could a shift in leadership to riskier stocks happen without an all clear on the trade front? Those are the questions facing an apprehensive Wall Street heading towards summer. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mike Santoli.